Here in our 2017 Fleetwood Bounder, we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima Long Haul 4 Bike Rack, part number Y02476. The Yakima Long Haul is going to be a great solution to get your bike with you, whether you're going to the campgrounds or even going across the country. We're going to have three points of contact, two on the cross tube of the frame here, and then one on the vertical support, which is going to act as an anti-sway, preventing too much movement and bike-to-bike -bike contact. To remove the bike, we can simply come to the cradles and we're going to have two buttons on each side that we can remove the ratcheting zip strips. Once you have all three removed, we can go ahead and take our bike and set it aside so we can take a closer look at some of the features. I always like to replace the zip strips, that way I don't have to worry about them getting lost or damaged. In each one of our cradles, we're going to have a nice soft padding that's not only going to keep our bike secure, but it's also going to prevent any kind of scratches or abrasions to the paint. Also at the end of our arms here, we're going to have integrated bottle openers. So at the end of your bike ride, if you feel like popping open a bottle of your favorite drink, be able to right here. Also at the end of our arm here, we're going to notice we have a metal post and that's going to be for our integrated cable lock. We're going to be able to pass through our bike and then attach it right here and secure our bikes to our rack. Being able to carry four bikes is nice, but it is gonna add a little bit of distance to our RV, so I'd like to give you a few measurements. At the farthest point from our RV, our bike rack is gonna stick out roughly right about 39 inches. Now at the closest point, here at the back of the mast, it's just gonna be a little bit over eight and three eighths inches. Now as far as ground clearance is concerned, it's gonna be just under two feet, but I do want to mention that it's going to depend on the hitch style you have. But as you can see, it's going to be right in line with the receiver tube. If you're wondering what the difference between our long haul and the Yakima road trip is, this one is going to allow you to fold the arms down. Simply come to the top of the mast where the gray button is, release it and it'll allow us to rotate the arms down and lock into position. This is going to give us a lot more clearance whether we're backing up to the campground or just parking our RV. Now the maximum distance that we're gonna be adding to our RV is gonna be roughly right about 10 and a half inches. So it did make quite a bit of difference. Now the main thing that's gonna make this bike rack RV and motorhome acceptable is the fact that we're gonna have very minimal moving parts. Our arms are gonna be able to rotate, but down here at the bottom of our mast, we're gonna have solid welds, which is gonna give us stability, making sure that our bike rack and our bikes are nice and secure. The long haul is designed to work with two inch by two inch receiver tube openings and it does come with a locking anti-rattle bolt. It's going to take away some of the slop and slack when you're driving down the road. A feature you're going to like is the fact that the locks are key to like so we don't have to worry about fumbling with two different sets and it has a nice dust cover to keep any debris and dirt out of the lock core. Here in our test course let's first go into our slalom. This is going to show side to side action such as going around corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our solid speed bumps, this is going to show an up and down action, such as pulling in and out of a driveway or out of a parking lot. Then finally onto our alternating speed bumps. This is gonna show a twisting action, such as going over potholes or uneven pavement. And that'll finish up our look at the Yakima Long Haul 4 Bike Rack, part number Y02476 on our 2017 Fleetwood Bounder.